Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're just going to be taking a quick look at how the 2080 Ti will perform on some games. Basically, the system I'm using to test out the 2080 Ti is first up, the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X for the CPU, 32GB of G-Skill 3200MHz RAM, the Zotac Gaming 2080 Ti and all of this is seated upon the MSI X470 Gaming Plus motherboard. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, your overall score is going to be 83.65 FPS and yeah, that's definitely going to be more than enough for you to play comfortably and do remember that this is going to be at 4K. Meanwhile, in Middle Earth Shadow of War, you're getting a constant FPS of 89. So yeah, this is also run at 4K and I'm really starting to get really impressed with this 2080 Ti. For Final Fantasy XV in the benchmark, you're getting a score of 5851 and the performance is written fairly high just because there are quite some people who are getting about 6000 plus and above but I do suspect those are the ones that have overclocked the GPU while for me, I haven't really overclocked it at all so yeah, at high quality 3840 by 2160 you're getting 5851 and I'm still very impressed with this kind of score after looking at the test results, I'm actually very very impressed with the performance of the 2080 Ti especially because at 4K, the FPS is still able to be maintained at above 60 FPS. So yeah, there's no other graphics card in the market right now that can do that. Moving on, should you purchase a 2080 Ti? To me personally, if you're not going to be gaming at 4K, there really isn't that much need for you to purchase a 2080 Ti. You could probably go lower end, say even a 1080 Ti which costs a lot less. Because for now, RTX has not been enabled for many many games that you would be playing constantly. So yeah, without RTX, I don't think that there is that high of a demand to actually get a 2080 Ti unless you just really want to play games like Tomb Raider, Shadow of Mordor, The Witcher 3 at 4K and above 60 FPS. Other than that, you can definitely go for much cheaper options. Anyways, in the future when I'm able to get a more proper setup, test bench kind of thing, as you can see, this is just on the motherboard which doesn't look the greatest and it's not that easy to swap in and out. I hope that after I get a proper test bench kind of thing, I can also get the Intel Core i9 chips in and probably test out gaming performances on the different kind of cards and probably what's the best value option that you can get right now. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this really short look at the 2080 Ti's performance and yes, it's still, I'm still really really blown away by it. Remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming content, hit the notification bell to get notified when videos go up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!